I'm Nicholas Rinaldi, and for COM410, I wrote my brand term paper on Apple Incorporated, one of the largest producers of technology and electronics worldwide. They are known best for producing an array of electronic products such as the iPod, iPad, iPhone, MacBook computer, and the Apple Watch. Notable people significant to the company include the three founders, Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. Ronald Wayne actually sold his share of the company for $800 in April of 1976. Apple's history consists of initial rapid success after the release of the Apple I and Apple II computers. The sales of these products saw exponential growth. A watershed moment in Apple's history was the release of their 1984 commercial during that year's Super Bowl. Company restructuring and product failures caused revenue decline between 1991 and 1997. However, success took off after then as the Macintosh computer was released in 1998. This was followed by the release of the iPod in 2001, the iTunes Music Service in 2003, the iPhone and Apple TV in 2007, the iPad in 2010, and the iCloud Storage Service in 2013. In 2014, Apple purchased Beats Electronics for $3 billion. Unfortunately, in 2011, one of their original founders, Steve Jobs, passed away due to pancreatic cancer. Apple is definitely known for the recognizable logo. It consists of an apple with a bite taken out and is easily identifiable. From 1977 to 1998, it was rainbow colored, and from 1998 on, it has been monochromatic. What Apple does well marketing-wise is that they send an emotional message to consumers to incite a positive and trustworthy relationship. Their products offer unique selling points to consumers due to their compatibility and unique characteristics. One thing Apple does is they utilize the four P's of marketing. They do this by releasing a diversity of products, all of which contain unique characteristics, by utilizing various online and offline distribution channels to sell their products, by using sales promotion through bundling, bundled deals, and they also schedule events and press releases to promote their upcoming and updated products, and they maintain a premium product price level. This is necessary and is adequate to generate profit. Apple's target audience consists of children, teens, young adults, and adults living under a premium income level. Apple also uses the marketing tools of secrecy and scarcity, which makes their marketing approach unique and successful. Their design of boxing and products help their promotion in generating attraction and aesthetic appeal. These marketing techniques help Apple stick out from competing technology and electronic companies. Their marketing approach is also proven to be effective based off positive profit margins over the past five years. These profit margins are 30% greater than their best competitor, Samsung. And although the return of investment over the past five years has shown some slight decline, there has been steady growth in the most recent couple of years. One thing is for certain, however, is that Apple lacks crisis and much flaw. This helps them maintain a positive reputation in not only the technology world, but in the world of business in general.